Elongation spray. Okay. See here, you have to take one wire. Okay. You have to take one wire. The upper end of the wire is fixed, and lower end of the wire is free. So if you have to apply an external force to that wire, there is no change in the upper end of the wire because it is fixed. Only change in the lower end of the wire. It means the length of the wire increases or changes when you have to apply an external force to that wire. Okay. See here. You have to take the F with the force applied to that wire. Its upper end is fixed, and there is a change in the length of the wire when you have to apply the external force to that wire. That change in the length or increase in the length you have to take DL. Okay, then work done. You have to know that work done is equal to force into displacement. Okay, that is work done equal to F force into F into displacement. You have to take that is DL change in the length. Okay, F into DL. Therefore, the total work done we have to calculate it now. The total work done we have to calculate it from zero to L. Okay, take the limits zero to L. Then the work done W equal to integration zero to L. We have to DL. And also you have to know that in SR class we have to calculate the the expression for Young's modulus. That is the Young's modulus is definition is it is the ratio of normal stress to the longitudinal strain. The expression for Young's modulus is Y equal to F into L divided by V into L. Okay, here that is the in SR class DL. You have to take whatever you have to take the symbol. It is your choice. In SR class you have to take DL is the change in length. Here you have to take small L is the L is the change in the length. Therefore, Y equal to F into L divided by A into small L. Therefore, which gives F equal to Y into A L divided by capital. L. Okay, now put this F value in this equation. It becomes W equal to integration zero to L. What is the value of F? Y A into L divided by capital L into remaining term is D L. So you take the constant term outside. That is Y A and capital L is the constant term. Take outside remaining term integration zero to L L into D L. What is the integration of L? Integration of L is L square by two. Okay, therefore, W equal to one by two y a l divided by capital L into l because l square you have to write l into l. Okay, therefore, which is equal to one by two. Okay, what is the value of y a small l divided by capital L? That is f. Therefore, in place of this, you have to write f into remaining term small l. Therefore, which is equal to one by two into what f means? You have to take Force that is stretching force into L is the stretch that is stretching of the wire. Therefore, this is work done. But what do I want? Work done per unit volume. Therefore, work done per unit volume is equal to one by two okay. F by L into L by A. Because in volume here we will take volume is equal to L into A. Therefore, per unit volume means divided by L into D. Okay, we are using the term which gives one by two into F by A into small L divided by capital L. Okay, which is there. Work done per unit volume is equal to one by two into. This is F by A. F means force divided by A. The storing force per unit area is equal to stress into change in the length divided by original length is strain. Therefore, work done per unit volume in case of elongation strain or longitudinal strain is. One by two into stress into strain. Okay, now let's come to the volume strain. Okay, suppose you have to take P the stress applied to the a body which are consists of the area small a. Then the force applied is F equal to P into a. Okay, if you have to apply the extra force to the a body, there is a change in the Area or volume, then automatically work done is happen. That work done for a small moment. You have to take small moment is dx in the direction of p. Means in the direction of stress is equal to the p into a into dx. The dx is the small moment. Okay. Then now you have to take a into dx is dv. That is change in this volume. Therefore you have to write. Work done for a change is equal to dv is equal to p into dv. This is the expression for work done for a change. dv equal to p into dv. Then now we have to find out the total work done. How we have to calculate by integrating the 
that equation taking the limits 0 to p because you have to take value string. Therefore, w equal to integration 0 to v p into dv. Okay. Now, you have to know that c here the relation k equal to p into capital V by small v or p equal to k into small v by capital V. Here, this is the relation between the stress, bulk modulus and the strain. Here, with p, small v is the change in the value, capital V is the original value, k is the bulk modulus, p is the stress. Okay, now put p value in this equation, that is w equal to integration 0 to v, k into p value, k into small v by capital V, the remaining term dv. Okay, therefore, w equal to k by v into c r. Constant term outside, k by v is constant take out the remaining term, integration of v, integration of v is v square by 2. Okay, that is w equal to k by v into 1 by 2 p square which is equal to 1 by 2 p square means p into p ok now see here work then w equal to 1 by 2 into k into small v divided by capital v what you take k into small v by capital v p that is p into remaining term small p therefore work done is equal to w into okay, p means you have to take stress into v p is the change in the value, small v is the change in the value, this is the work done, but what you want, work done per unit value, work done per unit value means, here you have to take, per value means p, therefore 1 by 2 into p into small v divided by capital V, here you have to take capital V, because work done per, this is work done per unit value, unit means single, unit value means p, therefore 1 by 2 into p is you have to take stress, Okay, small v by capital V, change in the value divided by original value, that is volume strain, that is strain, 1 by 2 into stress into strain, this is the expression for work done per unit volume in case of the volume strain. Okay, next, the last one is sharing strain, already you have to discuss in yesterday class, okay, so here you have to take one cube, ABCD is the one cube, upper end is, uh, sorry, lower end is fixed, upper end is movable, then you have to Capital L is the length of the each edge. Okay. When you have to apply the tangential force, that is F is the tangential force apply to the upper end. That is AB. At that time, A is equal to A dash, P is equal to P dash. Means with the displacement small L. At the time of the displacement, it can create an angle. That is theta. Here theta is called sharing angle. Okay, see here the displacement A is equal to A, A dash is equal to B, B dash which is equal to L that is the displacement is L the displacement A, A dash is equal to B, B dash which is equal to L therefore here if the position changes then automatically work done is happen the work done during the small displacement DL is equal to F into DL because work done formula is work equal to force into displacement that is force here you have to take displacement here or dl what you have to take dl now we have to say the total work done from take this a to a dash b to b dash at that time you have to integrate that work done equation taking the limits 0 to l then work done equal to integration 0 to l f into dl ok and we have to know that in yesterday class sharing strain eta equal to f divided by a into theta which gives eta equal to f into sorry f equal to eta into a into theta ok and by seeing this diagram a that is length into breadth that is a equal to l square and what is the value of theta that is sharing angle theta how you want to find out change in the length to the ordinal length that is theta equal to small n divided by capital L ok therefore here f equal to eta as it is right and a value is l square and theta value is small l by capital L if here capital L capital L cancel remaining term f equal to eta into small l into capital L then we have to put this f value in this equation that is w equal to integration 0 to l f value is eta l into small l into dl ok see so here take the constant term outside that is eta l is constant take outside remaining term Integration of L into DL. Integration of L is L square by 2. Therefore, which is equal to, you can now put the value of eta. Eta is F by AT and again A value is L square and theta is equal to L by L. Then simplify, you have to get 
1 by 2 f divided by capital L into small l into l into l square because we have to know that eta equal to f divided by cl eta equal to f divided by small l into capital L by seeing this relation eta equal to f divided by cl eta equal to f divided by capital L into small l put that value here remaining term you have to write as it is therefore 1 by 2 here L L cancel capital L cancel remaining term 1 by 2 f into small l that is 1 by 2 f is the tangential force and l is the displacement ok this is the work done but what you want work done per unit term ok that is 1 by 2 f into l okay, here work done per unit term in, 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 this is cube so means you have to take value length into breadth into height length is l breadth is also l height is also l therefore l into l that is l cube 1 by 2 f into l by l cube which is equal to here take this 1 by 2 f divided l cube means that is l square into l 1 by 2 f by, by l square into l by l yes here already you have to take l square is l square equal to a put that in a and what is the value of small l by capital L theta therefore work done per unit value 1 by 2 into f by a into theta here f by a the storing force per unit area is called stress and theta is your known sharing strain that is strain therefore work done per unit value in case of a sharing strain is 1 by 2 stress into strain what we have concluded by uh, seeing this three derivations the work done per unit value in case of a value strain long distance strain and sharing strain is same that is 1 by 2 stress into strain